And then a man came in my life, five years, where I had more questions than answers into my faith. And he said, Scott, was your conversion real? I go, what do you mean? I said, whoa, are you saying am I saved or not? And I go, don't go there, brother. And he says, I think we have to. He said, Scott, he goes, if you're not showing fruit for your faith, then your faith is counterfeit. He said, Scott, he goes, did you repent when you came to Christ? I go, of what? I said, of what? And he said something to me that I'll never forget because I was going to church, reading my Bible, giving the church a lot of money. I was, I was, I was doing all the stuff. And, I, I, and he said, Scott, he goes, did you ever read Romans 10, 9? I go, that's the one. If I confess with my mouth, because I'm a confession guy, and believe in my heart. And he said, Scott, he goes, what you probably did is confess with your mouth what was not in your heart. Wow. I said, you mean you can do that? He goes... Millions do. And he said something to me, and I think he goes, how do you know you believe? He goes, how do you know you're not a counterfeit Christian? I was highly threatened. Walls went up. Do you ever feel that way? Do you ever feel that way? When you're alone. I don't expect you to do it as well. Arms are up and we're high fiving each other. But he goes, do you ever feel that way? Do you ever look at yourself and say, I think I'm saved. And you know what? In Philippians, when it tells you to work out your faith in, tr in fear and trembling, it has little to do with the gift of grace that God gives you because we, we receive this beautiful gift of salvation by grace. But an outworking, an outworking, Proof, evidence, is repentance with the bookend of fruit.